Hello everyone, this is Jimmy, and welcome to episode 1 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. This is, uh, I guess you could say, the one of the latest and greatest Minecraft expert mode style mod packs. And I should add my server here so I can connect. Anyways, um, so as you can see, I haven't actually even my server yet. Oops. Try that again. Um, but yeah, this is my first time logging into this mod pack. I uh, have absolutely no clue at all what to expect. So I've read some, you know, there's like a little tips and tricks document. I've read the first little bit of that. But besides that, yeah, I really have no clue what to uh, what to expect in this pack. So I'm sure I'll make a lot of stupid blunders. All right, and we're logged in, and it is the middle of the night, and I hear a skeleton shooting me. I don't like the looks of this. Let's go. Um, I'm just going to go dig a hole underground and hide there until... I'm just going to go hide until daytime, I think. I don't, I'm not quite equipped to fight uh, anything right now. Also, I need to fix my controls. My uh, sensitivity right now is way too high. All right, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna hide through this night scene in the morning. It's still nighttime, but uh, I'm safely tucked away. So let's take this time to look at the quest book. Now, this quest book is uh, very—I don't know. There's a lot of quests in it. So we'll let's start from the bottom, I guess. There's a reward shop, very similar to there was an Omni Factory. We can trade these uh, coins. Which I think you can get from other quests or you know various things that you find you might be short on. What is this tab? I think this is just you kill stuff for rewards and I suspect they're repeatable. Um, one thing I like to do is turn the quest book into edit mode. Actually let me see if that's necessary in this pack. Yeah it kind of is. Now I don't do this so much with the intention to like of actually editing any quests but what I just do is when you turn on edit mode you now uh, see you can now see all these quests that you couldn't see before. So I think um anyways the wild hunt here is just for killing mobs. Looks like there's twilight forest, vanilla mobs, um not quite sure what some of these are from. But anyways, kill mobs, get rewards. So, it looks like to get started we will... That's just the quest book. Let's get, let's read some. Oh, welcome. The quest book provides instructions. Alright, uh, I'll do... I'll do the reading off camera so you don't have to watch me read. You can pause if you want to read it yourself, but cool. Tells you about the Akashic Tome. The Akashic Tome is pretty cool. Um, is this book actually an Akashic Tome? Nope. But the the Akashic Tome allows you to combine... Oh, here it is. It allows you to combine multiple books into it. And now when I shift right click with the Akashic Tome, I can choose which of these books I want it to be. So this book can combine all these books into one item, which is pretty cool. But right now I want it as a quest book. All right, so we get started by chopping some wood. Uh, I wonder, do we have ore excavator? We do not, so no, nothing Veimider-esque. Oh, invisible mobs. I hope that's not a bug. That could very well just be a feature. What does he oh no, this guy is in the video. I regret my decisions immediately. Haunted tool. Well, I've died already. That's a good start. Let's go get our stuff back and go punch some trees. Also, I think I have to move that one probe config to the middle. At least, personally, I prefer it in the middle.
Uh, how do I stress? There we go. All right, so I think was a quest specific. Open over there. The quest book. Was it looking for any type of wood? Yep. I dislike not having Vein Miner, but I'm sure with like Tinker's uh whatchamacallit's lumber axes later on act actual farms, it won't actually be a problem. And I'm gonna be a terrible person and leave the top half of the tree up because I don't feel like fitting it now. I'm sticking. Like there's a mod or maybe an added feature that's been you can now left click in uh in jei to pull up uh the re or left click in left click in the quest book to pull up the recipe book thing like pull up the jei recipe so it looks like without a saw you only get two two uh planks per wood and two sticks per plank so well, that's fine. I think later we do get a saw. So crafting station, wooden pickaxe, wooden shovel. Oops, that's not a craft. Oh, unfortunately, the crafting table on a stick looks like it takes more than a crafting table on a stick. And it looks like the inventory cake is not easy to make. All right, well, wishful thinking. Some basic tools. Um, I usually bind. Well, I guess without vein miner, I can leave this on. Great, there we go. Yeah, this is a matter of personal preference. Let me fix some key bindings and I'll be right back. All right, so what do I have left? Oh, I made a, I made a, a axe, not a shovel, didn't I? Easy enough to fix. Oh, and that gives me a sword. Basic resources, collect some dirt, cobble, sand, clay, and gravel. All right, can I make a stone pick by chance? Yep, it's the regular recipe. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to go dig up some resources. Well, I was looking for clay and I found this, uh, I guess it's technically a village. I mean, there's villagers in it, but uh, there's like, it's like a single house with no, with no door. I don't, I don't know if it counts as a village, but um, I'm kind of just interested in coming in here and stealing the guy's bed. Yoink. What do we have in here? A block of bronze. Um, first of all, this doesn't seem very useful, but uh, I'll take the block. I'll take the furnace too. Yes, might as well. Anyways, I noticed um, is ah, oh, here's a door. Um, I noticed there's a pretty cool mod in this pack where you can, when you break a block, see that dirt block when I break it, even though it's all the way out there, it immediately drops into my inventory, which I think is pretty cool. It means, you know, when you, when you go mining stuff, it all gets magneted to you automatically. So uh, anyways, I'm still in the process of collecting, what more do I need? Cobble, clay, and gravel. Came to the river. It's nighttime again, so I'm uh, in the process of running away from mobs. Look at that, that one skeleton is shooting incredibly fast. I don't know if all skeletons in this pack are like machine guns, but uh, he's also incredibly inaccurate compared to vanilla spiders or skeletons. Yeah, I don't know what exactly is going on there, but uh, I guess that's kind of cool. Anyways, I think I've gathered all the stuff I need, but uh, I kind of need you know, to stop being shot at so I can check my quest book.
that'll do. All right, so that's done. Um, I guess maybe clay. All right, welcome to the Stone Age. So we need a furnace and a set of stone tools. Easy enough. Need a sword and a hoe. All right, let's get some light down here. Too. So we needed uh, a hoe. And I noticed there's many different types of like cobblestone. There's nice cobblestone and dacetite cobblestone. I'm sure there's more. Likewise for gravel. They seem to be interchangeable. So at some point, I'm sure we'll figure out what the difference is. But uh, for now, I don't know. Can I make sticks like this? Is that a thing I'm allowed to do? I forgot what I have to make. A sword. And we're pretty close getting to the point where my inventory is full. So we should try to find uh, somewhere to settle down, if only briefly. It looks like we have a mod that gives diminishing returns on food as you eat it. Not my favorite, but I'll deal with it. Um, I do have a bed. I did grab the bed for the express purpose of sleeping through the night, so we may as well do that. Ow, ow, ow. Thanks, bad. Alright, let's eat our leafy chicken sandwich. So what's next? Now we have some options. Bikes to protect our base. Um, looks like that's just a reward for doing a dungeon. Looks like food to me. Oh, it's leather that looks like it's going down agriculture this is doing clay for shears and stuff make a stone all in one tool that sounds fine what do i need to make this nothing perfect and uh we get an actual editions book with it so again we can come we can put this actual editions book into our akashic tome which probably already has one. How does it work? I think if you shift left click in the air, yeah, you can turn it into a into a empty book. And we do already have an actual edition manual, so get out of here. I think all the quest to make one of these gives us one of them. Oh cool, so we can we can set a home and teleport to it. And I guess we can also trade a level for two chick two cooked chicken. I think we can do this freely. So yeah, um wherever we do end up settling down, that'll be a quick way to teleport back to it. That's nice. That's just one of the nice quality of life mods or features that I enjoy having. All right, so I guess the next thing we have to do then before we um, really get into anything is find a place to settle down. So you know me, I'm a big fan of open plains, flat land to build on. So let's go find some of that. I'll uh, be right back when I found some. All right, this place here looks like it'll do. If we go a little bit this way, there's some water. These are palm trees. They look like coconut trees. That looks like a griffin. Um, Hope it doesn't try to eat me. That direction, that looks like an applied energistics asteroid. And I'm very curious what this green, you know, beacon like beam is. I hope I don't get uh, murdered by that griffin. Diamond plates. I also found a diamond in a chest along the way. Sure. Can I get up there? Environmental accumulator from Evil Craft. No clue what that does. And I can't mine a meteorite block yet. Huh. Well, interesting. Looks like there's a village over there. Um, but yeah, let's settle down here. I'll even make this our home.
Whoopsies, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to set home. Um, let me head back there, be right back. And we're back, just in time too, to catch the uh, eclipse. Which, ooh, that is a zappy creeper, jeez. Mercy. Which um is spawning mobs. But if we uh, keep in mind, I do believe that uh, that eclipses only happen, um, or eclipses happen on the same like twenty eight day cycle as uh, horologiums in astral sorcery. So there's some way for me to check the day. Uh, is it in journey map somewhere? I don't know, but uh, apparently, I mean, it's like day two or three right now, right? Um, if we just, I guess we can keep that in mind when we start doing Astral Sorcery, that we expect the Horologium days to be pretty close to, uh, to, like, pretty close to this 28-day cycle. So anyways, now that we're here, let's actually set home. And now we can teleport to here. Perfect. So, moving on in the quest book, let's uh, give me a second to figure out where I want to go from here, and I'll be right back. Before really getting into quests, I want to uh, improve our storage situation a little bit, have a few more chests. And apparently, these palm trees can't be turned into, uh, don't have logs. Do I need like a saw to do it, maybe? Or these special woods? And it just looks like this these logs don't have plank versions. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I guess no point cutting these trees. They do give a lot of these dates, which are food. I think you can just eat them. I'm not quite sure what those white particles are. But, um, Eden assisted in adding hearts. Oh, I think that's the effect. It gives this well-fed effect. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we can just put this away. And I guess I have to chop some of these uh, eucalyptus. Now that we're settled down, have some place to store our stuff. I noticed that if you press B, it seems to open like a backpack. Not quite sure where this backpack is, because uh, it doesn't seem to be like I'm not wearing a backpack. So, yeah, I don't know, but I, I appear to have a backpack. I'm not going to complain. Anyways, uh, let's go do some mining. So the main thing I'm looking for is copper, because that looks like the first resource that we need. And once we have copper, we can make saws and so on and so forth. So that looks like a lot of the cute, like the... Very basic stuff is all copper, copper armor, etc, etc. So, time to go mining and caving. Found our, some of our first ores, just some coal here. But uh, while I'm mining, I notice that all these different types of like sand and gravel and dirt, they're going to destroy my inventory space. So we're going to have to come up with either bigger backpacks or some other way to uh, better manage our inventory when we go mining. But I think we have a quest to grab 10-ish pieces of coal. We may as well mine the coal vein out. One thing I noticed, um, I went and made, you know, a stack of torches for the mining trip. And the, what was this, unidentified? Um, the process of making charcoal even changed. When you make charcoal in, like, a furnace, you, oh, careful. You only get, uh, effectively half a piece of charcoal per wood. So I think later we can use, like, uh, charcoal kilns and stuff. To make it more efficiently but for now making even charcoal is a little difficult right because chopping trees requires manual labor anyways um glad we got some looked like tin and coal and i don't even know which of these blocks to use as filler and what is this unidentified mineral or uninspected mineral ah i see this is part of that rock hounding mod um, I played with it a bit in, I think, like, all the mods some time ago. Uh, it's a pretty interesting... It's a definitely a very unique resource processing mod. 
um, stuff to describe. You kind of you get this like uninspected mineral or other minerals, and then you can break it into its components and do some like chemistry and stuff. And I guess it has some real world parallels in how you know ores are actually processed. And uh, yeah, you can get a rather wide array of different outputs from it. So anyways, Ronium, nice. Combining. Jeez, the uh, hostile mobs in this pack are terrifying. There's a skeleton warrior down there. And he has a lot of health. And a lot of armor. And I can't hit him. Is it broken? No. I regret it if I break that block. Anyways, yeah, the mobs in this pack are brutal. Good thing I had to spare. Anyways, I've been binding for a couple minutes, and if you look, our my inventory is already basically full. I'll move as much of it as I can into this backpack, but I think we'll only be able to make some pretty short mining trips for now. So at the end of this tunnel, I did discover the opening into a cave. However, there sounds like there's a lot of mobs. Vertical. Ooh, easy there, buddy. And yeah, the creepers are like the speed of light creepers. Combat in this pack is very scary. Right, let's light it up a little bit. Anyways, the good news is uh, there's a lot of ores here. The bad news is we're going to have to fight a lot of mobs to get access to them. And we don't have any weapons uh, or any armor. And not much food to speak of. There's a hat. Nope, I'm out. Peace. Mercy. Like, look at how fast this guy is. Help! I'm so dead. Anyways, I'm gonna have to head back down there, get my stuff back. Um, maybe block off that cave a little bit to mine it, but uh, yeah, this, this is scary. Alright, I died a couple more times down there, if you see, I have a couple more waypoints. Um, I'm thinking we'll just give up on that cave until I have some armor. So I've gotten some tin, but my goal is to get some copper, and unfortunately I haven't gotten any of that. I'm going to clear out my inventory and go back down into, you know, go back, back down there and start mining again. Finally, some copper ore. I took a quick look at what ore doubling takes, and I don't think we quite have access to it yet. So if we look here, ores can be, melting it obviously gives you one ingot. All the various crusher types tend to double it, but I think the first ore doubling method we have will actually be, well, the very almost ore doubling. So the mechanical squeezer is two and a half, but we can't make one of these yet. But we can pretty soon make a regular squeezer. The tier two crafting table just takes a couple iron and uh, copper plates. Right, and this is just stone. So this, the regular squeezer, which you have to jump on, and there's a small trick to it, I'll show you when we get there, can be used to process ores into one, just, just sort of doubling. Right, so all these, like, 10 ore becomes 1.75, and I think almost all ores are 1.75x yield. So once we get a couple more uh, pieces of copper and some iron, we can start or one and a half xing and actually this process the process of using the regular squeezer we can automate that as soon as we have some redstone which is pretty cool so, um i'm looking forward to that but first let's uh finish getting some copper unfortunately that vein looked like it only had two in it so that's a bit of a disappointment oh well uh the quest says we need 10 so i'm gonna go get 10 ores so I found underground one of these uh, Asso Sorcery things, and if it's what I think it is, I believe this is an ore shrine. So, first of all, let's kill the zombie in it. This guy seems to have like thorns or something. Grape dust. Okay, so when I break this block, eh, I was expecting ores to show up. 
That's a shame. Never mind. Uh, I think the default configs have this producing ores, but uh, the, this path must have modified it. It's that it doesn't always produce ores. In fact, it seems to always produce stone, which is rather disappointing. I about to say, this is a great way to get a, a healthy amount of ore to start off any pack, but... Well, that's sad. Um, I think sometimes there's chests hiding under these pillars, so let's take a quick look, too. Doesn't look like it. Maybe under this pillar? Nope. Alright, whatever. No ores for us. That sucks. Uh, I do want the sea lanterns. And now we get crystals, but... Yoink them anyways. All right, well, back to the hunt for copper then. We finally got enough um, copper, so let's go ahead and cook this all into ingots to complete the quest. See, and then from there we can we have a couple options, right? We can make a chisel. That doesn't look all that important yet. Sifter, that doesn't look like we need that yet. So let's go down this side to make tools and... Uh, you know, 3x3 three three mining, some armor maybe. Although we don't exactly have a lot of copper. Oh well. So let's wait for that smelting to finish. Alright, 10 copper ingots. So that gets us another 2 and a coin. We can make a handsaw. Artisan's copper handsaw. That doesn't look too bad. And I think with this we can now take wood and turn it into four planks we can also make wood piles which means we can effectively make charcoal again oh cool i like these spike recipes they're much cheaper anyways yeah we can now take wood and make four planks out of it which is a pretty big improvement from before right so do i have any wood left besides this useless stuff i may have already used it all we have one but yeah, significant improvement. And it uses some durability. Ooh, it actually used five durability. So it uses up the saw pretty quick, huh? Okay, good to keep that in mind. Anyways, that gives us a bit more wood. Next quest, copper, pick, shovel, and sword. And that gives us an axe. All right, let's do it. Pickaxe. Um, I need a few more sticks. Can I make sticks more efficiently too? With a saw, I can. Yeah, that uses precious saw durability. Ugh. Oh well. So a pickaxe, a regular axe, and a sword. Oh, I needed a pickaxe, a shovel, and a sword. Whoops. That gives me a regular axe. I wonder if there's a copper all-in-one tool. Looks like I can't quite make this yet. That requires needle. Artisan's copper needle. I might also have to cook up a little bit more copper then. I haven't actually used this artisan work table mod before, so uh I might have to learn it. I do. Un I think it's going to be part of Omni Factory or Mega Mode as well. So here's as good a time as any to learn how to use the mod, right? That sets us up to be able to make the copper hammer. Oh, but doesn't use only two ingots. All right. Cool. And then I think we can use a hammer to make plates. Is it two plates? Yeah, it's two ingots to a plate for now. But when we start making it with machines, it's one ingot to a plate. All right, sounds good. Just want to make sure there weren't any, there was one plate in here. Good thing I checked. May as well grab these uh, iron ingots while we're at it. All right, so I have two more copper ingots there, which means we have just enough ingots to make the four copper plates we need. And again, that uses one durability each.
Oh no, it uses four durability each too, just like the saw. What is that zombie? Oh well. Hey, and that gets us a bucket. Nice. So from here we can make copper chests, although I don't think I can afford this yet. Right, they probably take, yeah, they take eight plates each. So uh, that's not happening yet. We can also do a copper mining hammer. This is our first, it'll be three by three mining, although since it takes ten plates, maybe not. I mean, uh, however many plates that was, five plates. What I want to do is, I actually want to see if I can make that, um, that squeezer. I think there's a quest for it somewhere, but I just don't know where exactly it is. So it takes some stone, I, we can make that, and some iron plates in... Yeah, let's make some iron plates, crafting tables, and make that squeezer. I think it was three crafting tables. And an iron plate to make the advanced crafting table. Yep. And then the wheat itself is uh, 10 stone and 6 iron plates. Let's cook some stone up. I assume stone is made the same way. Looks like it. Make half a stack for now. And I need 6 iron plates. And a armor stand. Which will require a couple more pieces of stone. Do I make slabs? Oh, it. And it has to be vanilla stone. Interesting. How do I... I need a chisel for that? So many tools. That make vanilla stone it does cool feels very greg techy with all the all the tools perhaps intentionally so anyways let's make a squeezer and a armor stand. So, the way the squeezer works is, if I can also have a hopper, I cannot have a hopper. Can I have like a wooden hopper? Directional hopper. Make one of these if I get some TNT or a creeper. Oh well, I guess we'll do without the hopper for now. A shame that there's no no regular recipe for it, like a craft recipe. But oh well. So I'll, I'll just deal without the automation for now. If we take a piece of ore, like some of that leftover copper ore, and no, I left some. Well, maybe I did cook it all. Let's do the iron bed. We'll sleep. Make it daytime. I found that if I let any mob spawn at night. Like, I'll probably die once killing them off during the day. If you look around, I have a couple more death waypoints already. So, yeah, I've been doing a lot of dying. Anyways, you put the ore in there, and then you get on it and you jump to squeeze. You might only have to jump once, I'm not sure. It looks like I have to keep jumping. There we go. So you jump to squeeze it. And then when you're done, it spits the item out, like the dust's out. Here we got two. And then to reset it, you need a redstone signal. For the time being, I'll just use a lever to do that. So put a lever. Probably don't want it on top, but you put a lever on it and do that to reset it. 
So a trick apparently is that if you put the armor stand on it, the armor stand can jump and like the armor stand can do the squeezing, but you uh, obviously you can't just do this, right? Because then you only get the first squeeze. I think you need a piston and a sticky block to push and pull the armor stand up, and you can kind of automate the squeezer, which I mean I guess is kind of cool, right? So let's see what it'll take to make a piston. And uh, it does have to be a sticky piston, but a red alloy ingot. That doesn't look too bad after we had some redstone, though. Okay, um, I'll do that later. Did I make that lever out of bones? I didn't even realize. I guess bones count as sticks. Good to know. All right, so what's next? Watering cans. Uh, it wants me to make a copper chest so that it'll prog process the iron quest so i guess i guess i have to all right back to mining then um but what i'm thinking is how about i'll wrap up episode one here um let me know in the comments if you have any tips and tricks and stuff of that sort i'm sure i'm overlooking you know all kinds of things i could potentially be doing so feel free to uh micromanage me a little bit in this pack because uh unlike you know omni factory when i played it Right, when I played Omni Factory, that was actually my second time through the pack. So this is my first time through this pack. So I'm sure I will invariably overlook some very basic things. So yeah, um, besides that, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know again if uh, there's something I could be doing better, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.